crew on board the Space Shuttle Discovery after finishing two spacewalks and delivering their primary cargoes to the International Space Station. Today got the good news that they have earned an extra day in orbit. Mission management team for both the Space Shuttle program and the Space Station program made the decision to add an extra docked day to this flight of Discovery in order to allow the shuttle crew members to contribute another day's effort to unpacking and outfitting the permanent multi-purpose module, the uh, newest component of the International Space Station, now attached to the Earth-facing side of the Unity module. For Friday and Saturday, most of the crew members of both vehicles will spend all of both days continuing to remove articles that arrived packed inside the PMM, and also outfitting that new module to be used for science and for storage in the future by the International Space Station crews. The early part of this past day, Flight Day 8, saw the crew members continuing to unpack the PMM. The shuttle crew members got most of the latter part of the day off duty. There was work in the space station early today as Commander Scott Kelly and Flight Engineer Katie Coleman completed a maintenance activity on the carbon dioxide removal assembly that's located in the Tranquility module. They installed a second absorbent bed in that Cedra so that it can be used if necessary to help uh, remove carbon dioxide from the station's environment. A maintenance activity on the Russian system that does the same task also concluded today, and that Vozduk system is now up and running. Throughout the day, the shuttle crew members also took part in several in-flight interviews. They conducted interviews with uh, several national networks, as well as local television stations in Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., Tampa, Florida, and Atlanta, Georgia. Late in the day, all 12 crew members gathered together in the Destiny Laboratory and received a congratulatory phone call from President Barack Obama at the White House. Now, uh, I understand that uh, you guys have a new crew member, uh, this uh, R2 robot. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know whether you guys are uh, putting uh, R2 to work, uh, but uh, he's got a lot of attention. And, uh, you know, that, that helps inspire some, uh, some young people when it comes to science and technology. So uh, uh, it, 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 are, are you guys uh, making them do chores up there, washing the dishes or something, or, or does he have uh, more exciting jobs? Well, sir, uh, we actually just uh, just pulled them out of our uh, the permanent multi-purpose module that we just delivered and installed two days ago. I think we pulled them out uh, yesterday, and he's off camera right there, right next to uh, the camera, just off camera. He's still in packing foam, so we hope to uh, to get him out uh, shortly, and uh, it's going to be fun to see how uh, how he works. <laughs> he's still in packing foam. That's a shame, man. Come on, guys, unpack the guy. <laughs> He flew all that way, and you, and you guys aren't unpacking him? <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the poor guy's been locked in that foam for about four months now, and uh, every once in a while we hear kind of some scratching sounds from inside, and uh, maybe, uh, you know, let me out, let me out, but we're not sure.